everyone, welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. And as always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can always skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. In Time of Legends Joan of Arc this week, we'd like to show you the updated Reliquary Scenario Book. You can find the link to the English and the French files in the description below, as well as in the Kickstarter update. As always, feel free to drop any comments and feedback on the file, and we will implement them to the best of our ability. You will see that significant changes have been made to some of the scenarios in the Reliquary box compared to the initial version. Uh, we hope, of course, that you enjoy them. Furthermore, we'd like to give you some updates with regards to some pending issues, namely the comic book, the scenario builder, and the storage box. With regards to the comic book, we've asked you to send you, us your details and any proof of purchases for the comic book. The, the reason for this is that we are seeking legal advice on the comic book issue. We shared with you in the latest response we had from the Dabble Brothers, as well as the PDFs that they have shared with us. We haven't heard back from them since November 2019. Now, we'd like to remind you that we haven't received any updates for the comic book, neither have we received any royalties for the license. We're exploring our alternatives with our lawyers at this stage, uh, which can take a long time. Now, we will keep you posted in the future. With regards to the scenario builder, we can't reveal any details since its creation and any details connected to it are linked to the outcome of the negotiations with Pascal Bernard. The only thing we can share for now is that our goal is still to achieve an amicable solution and we are working towards this direction. Finally, regarding the storage box, we're still in discussions with game trays. The process is moving slowly, and when we have something more specific to share with you, we will. We're currently discussing the different components that should be included in the box and what would be the optimal way to store them with game trays. The sheer volume of content of this game makes it very challenging to create the perfect storage solution, but we are doing our best. Moving on to Solomon Kane, last week we left our Puritan in the lost colony of Roanoke. By the end of the first act, he discovers a terrible truth about this land. The beginning of Act 2 depends on the choices that you made in Act 1. Solomon could either be alone, accompanied, or receiving some advice from trusted companions in order to proceed to this part of the story. In all cases, the Puritan has a lead as to what happened to the colony and makes advances in running it down. No matter the hardships, the Puritan is determined to reach the bottom of this mystery. As it appears, the myths and whispers from this land are very real. What will happen to our hero? Will he find and restore the colony and its people? This week on Reichbusters, we want to share with you the much anticipated Operation Wolfly. As always, you can find the link to the English and French files in the description below, as well as in the Kickstarter update. Now, Operation Wolfly has two parts. In the first part of the campaign, you have to infiltrate secret bases linked to the project in order to gather information which will allow you to locate the Vrillmeister's lair. But you also need to gather irrefutable evidence that will allow you to certify his identity. Then, your team will be responsible to send that Nazi to his ultimate demise. We hope that you enjoy this campaign as much as we did. Now, with regards to shipping, the final European packages are being sent out this week. Fulfillment in all other areas has been completed, and all hubs are now accepting replacement orders. We are still working on a final version of the rulebook, and we will share it with you when it is ready. For the moment, we're still gathering any other points that need clarification. And this means that we will be wrapping up the updates for Reichbusters. At this point, we don't have the content to share with you every two weeks. We will be making updates on the Kickstarter page and here in this newscast whenever we have anything of importance to share for the game. We still have lots of plans for the future of Reichbusters. And we'd like to thank everybody for the support and love you have shown for this game. As always, you can continue to send us your questions at support at mythicgames.net and our team will make sure to address any issues you have. This is not the end 
of Ragbusters. We'll have news on it again soon. For Steam Watchers, the development team settled on their design for the Spark of Hope expansion. There were things that looked great on paper, but were less exciting in an actual game. Upkeep of your caravan or drafting powers didn't feel as exciting as expected. Now, caravans can harbor an order, or it can move or activate its kits. What are kits, you may ask? Well, with caravans, it's all about building the options of your ride. Caravans start empty, and you build the synergies you want as you go, responding to game events as you adapt. Do you need to purify your algo fuel because the scenario and opponents are harsh on you? You can. Do you want to have a good defensive position? Well, you may. In order to acquire kits, you need to spend a defense order to get one new kit or one upgrade for an already installed kit for each haven you control. However, caravans are horrible at fleeing. When they must, they lose a car and thus the ability to use a kit. Unfortunate, yes, but they have a reasonably high defense, so it's a risk that you choose to take rather than simply an unjust loss. Caravans are truly a spark of hope, and they make the world more bountiful with more algal fuel. <laughs> if only the clans didn't use them for war. And finally, to hell the last saga. We are very happy to share with you two major announcements as we are moving towards the opening of the Pledge Manager. First of all, we're very close to having some printed prototypes ready and in our hands. We've made schedules with several reviewers to have some preview videos created. Our aim is to have at least one in every language so all of you can enjoy the action. You've been asking for a physical prototype playthrough and we are very close to getting some for you. Furthermore, we are working on having a ta tabletop simulator version of at least one of the scenarios ready for you. We will be sharing links with you as these are ready, but our aim is to have them prepared by the end of next week. This means that if you have a tabletop simulator account, you'll be able to enjoy a virtual game of hell, The Last Saga, with your friends. We are working very hard on having the pledge manager ready for you as soon as possible and to allow you as much time as possible to finalize your pledges. More to come in the next week. Last but not least, Leo is changing his schedule for the live Q&As. Per your request, he will be doing two Q&As, one in English and one in French. So don't forget to tune in later today around 6 p.m. British Standard Time for the English Live and 8.30 p.m. Paris Time for the French Live. Well, that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.